Now we're in a, a favourite shop of mine called Diverse Records. For many years they've provided me with music and this is Paul, who's, who's the man when it comes to the music. But the fact about this place is there's a man behind Paul with his top off, completely naked, standing there. I don't know where he is, I don't know where he comes from. Checking out some of, uh, some of Paul's lovely records and Sometimes I wish I was uh, some sort of thief and I could steal them, but I'm not. So uh, I've got to show you this. is one of my favourite albums of all time. It was the first record I ever bought was the single from this. Um, what else am I liking at the moment? DJ Yoda, he's great. We've done a gig with DJ Yoda before. And again, if you, if you don't know what it is, if you're a bit scared, type it into Google. It's not sex, you won't get in trouble. And uh, it's really, really good. It is, that's, that's great fun. You can have a lot of fun with that. Uh, he's not related to Yoda from Star Wars, which confuses a lot of people. I did a lot of work in South America for uh, homeless children in Brazil, and I was out there for six months, you know. We used to play this album, and all the kids would run across the street, and we'd feed them, you know, popcorn and crisps and stuff. I sacked it all off then to join the GLC, but that's one of the albums I used to listen to in Brazil all the time. Great, really great family stuff, that is. The first music I ever heard was, was the, you know, hip-hop was coming from America. And I haven't got a gun, I haven't got a fast car, occasionally got a bird if I'm drunk enough, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so we just gave it our own, our own sort of take. Anything you want. Here we are now on our magical journey of Newport and I've taken you to a place to eat, uh, a place to buy some records, and I can't remember the other places. But right now we're in a place that holds a lot of memories for me and it's TJ's Nightclub. And if you don't come from Newport, or uh, if you have a visit in Newport and you want to get drunk and see a band, then you've got to come here. The legendary John Peel always used to big up TJ's um, on his radio show before he popped his clogs, which is a bit of a shame. When GLC kicked off, we finally managed to do a show here, which was um, probably one of the one of the, the great moments. Just because you're on home turf, you know, everybody's there. My mates were there, my family's there, and then after about the first two songs, the PA system collapsed, and the whole thing went deadly quiet. Um, we thought the crowd were going to lynch us, but it was okay because we ran off stage, blamed the sound man, he got his head kicked in. The gig went all right, and we had a laugh. So that's what it's all about: the magic of TJ's. Behold. <laughs> Now, we're with the man himself, Johnny Seacott. If there was a group of people here, I'd say give a round of applause, but there's only me. John, it's lovely to see you in the flesh. Nice to see you again. How's it going, you all right? Yeah, it's excellent. Now, this club has meant a lot to me over the years. I've done a lot of drinking here, I've seen a lot of good bands. Oasis played here? Oasis, yeah. Uh, all of Welsh bands. Yeah. Mannix, yeah. Uh, Catatonia, yeah. Gorky's. The only one that hasn't played was, was it a pub band, I think it was, it was the Stereophonics. So if you want to play it, now you're doing your little stuff still in front you can come and play it. There you go, straight from the words of Johnny Seacole. Right. Give it up for Johnny, it's only me here. Yes!